Walked by this uh, Mexican guy who started speaking Spanish to me in the dark. I couldn't see his face, he couldn't see mine. It's just that dark, and he was talking kind of excitedly. But it felt kind of good to not understand what he was saying. He just kept rambling on, and it seemed like it was directed at me. I don't know what he said. Okay, I've been told that we're allowed to enter inside the gated area of these, these temples. But we're not allowed to enter the actual building itself. They keep all these gates unlocked. And you can just kind of check out the inner workings a little bit. But just not enter. So, that's interesting. They just made it in 2012. And it's very very recent so it'd be one of those ones that were like allowed to be uh, looked at inside by the public for a number of months and then they they close it from the public so yeah it's just a big tall building oh yeah that's outside the fence okay this is, yeah, this is a little bit smaller than what you see in Logan. Circles and no no bells, of course. That's keeping up with the modern appearance. Don't bother with the bells. I'm a little curious about this underground thing. Where does that go? Probably some doors to the to inside or something. Yeah, they, they have all these gates, but they... Or not gates, but fence, but they keep the gates wide open. And then we got this sign that shows how far I am from the other cities. Those are always interesting. It, it kind of indicates that I'm, I'm getting into the outskirts of the city here. They wouldn't want to put the sign anywhere else. They got a little more built up canal system, tiny, tiny canal system. And I'm just kind of heading back to Walmart from, from the library. And it's much, much easier pedaling. Just a slight hill. This might be a strange thought, but maybe... Maybe Mormons like the Halloween a little bit more than regular Christians because they don't value Christmas quite as much. Maybe they put a little more effort into the Halloween instead. There's some nice, there's some neat, neat little decorations for, for Halloween. And then, I mean, it, it really, to me, it goes along the the lines with Easter with with death and this rebirth Halloween could be considered a bit of a re a death rebirth event that they hold so dear on Christmas on Easter this area has got some of the most gradual hills I've ever ridden on going down it's just such gradual drop and it's just a stro enough of a struggle where I debate if I should walk or not but I could still bicycle up the hill it's not not too incredibly bad It's a nice little trail through uh, along this highway. Wow, 
another one sold. Where's Walmart? Do I have to go on the road now? It looks like I have to go on the road. Unless there's a back road, which it kind of looks like there's a back road. It's a neat little back road here. Probably, yeah, it probably most likely go that. See cars taking it. It's a pretty well known back road. This doesn't say it's private property down this trail. Might be interesting to look at. Alright, so you can avoid the, the main road. Possibly even park on the side of this road, but I have a feeling cops will probably be on your case. If you try to... Oh no! Oh. Pedaling. You don't see very many lights. Well, you don't. You just don't see any lights high up on any of these hills. These lights are pretty much all ground level. It's kind of amusing. That's how it is in Utah. The ground is too loose. The soil is too loose in them hills for people to build up in them. Unlike a lot of other places. I'm surprised how warm it is overnight here. I don't know if it's because I'm moving further south or what. It's very windy, but it feels like it's in the mid-60s. Alright, so there's a few things I want to check out around here. I'm parked, parked a pretty considerable distance away from the, the library. I didn't, I wasn't too confident I could find any anywhere to to park closer for an overnight um, rest, I'll call it. Today it started out pretty windy and I saw dust storms kick up. In fact, I believe that the mountains that way off in the distance are kind of obscured. It looks like it's like some kind of a mist covering the mountains. Not these mountains though, but it looks like there's a mist off in the distance on uh, the other way that's obscuring the uh, appearance of mountains. And it's probably, and I think it's dust. It might be dust. I'm not sure. But there's been some dust getting kicked up as windy as it is. I didn't see any any dust any dust storm warning signs around here but I did see them on the highway between here ah there goes a tumbleweed <laughs> typical alright this wow this is pretty busy alright so if they're all turning there then I should be good here and then this oh man no this is not main street okay I think I'd like to go to the main street more so I bicycled this on this road and it's mostly residential down 775 west which turns into some other oh man looks like I could just turn even even though there's yeah that lane they have a golf course along this road seems pretty inconvenient to me to have a golf course there. Looks like they're building up some more businesses. It's kind of a faster, they're, they're kind of a growing city. They're bringing in more businesses on the outskirts at least. Oh, the wind is blowing me around a little bit. 
and I'm only going like 40. I can't imagine how it is at 80. Sheds always open. Yeah, and they got all these these uh, these caricatures of of uh, large game animals because you rarely see the actual large game animals. So you just make artistic renditions of them. So you know what they so you know what to look for. So you know what they're supposed to look like normally. 8:26 in the morning at the Utah State University. I didn't really notice any signs of a uh, campus around here. I looked for the BYU, the Brigham Young University. That's in that's in uh, oh uh, I forget. It's south of Salt Lake City, Provo, Provo, Utah. So. I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll get to Provo. It depends if I uh, if I can find some ephedra or not. I really that's that's my goal before I leave this state is I want to find ephedra in the wild. And it's supposed to be approaching Salt Lake City. It's it's there. It's said to have been found in in Idaho, but it's it's generally not not found in the northern part of Utah. So. Maybe this, maybe I was in the bad, the wrong parts of uh, Idaho where I didn't see it. It requires certain perfect growing conditions, and it's it's spread out. You can't just like like with a marijuana field, you can't just set fire to it and then let the let the whole crop burn because they they grow apart from each other. They grow. They keep enough space from each other where the, the a fire really can't spread. A fire really can't spread effectively in a desert because the plants are too far apart from each other. Yeah, I could get I could get internet at McDonald's. McDonald's is a pretty good distance away from Walmart too. So that, that makes that makes in the Walmart I don't believe has internet, so that really makes for a a struggle to to get internet overnight. And like it's that like it's that important anyway, because I get um, I mean I, I it, get, it makes me read my book more. And I'm reading this uh, 1960 I don't know mid 1960s book about uh, lawyers. A lawyer in his cases. Um, I have a couple other books, but they're not—they're not actually go-to books. This lawyer book is pretty interesting, but I kind—I'm of, kind of tempted to dump, dump uh, at least one or two books that I that I've tried reading, but cross like crossing California. Man, that's a struggle. I just, I can kind of relate because it's the for the baby, it's a baby boomer Jews, Jewish baby boomers. I can kind of relate because some of the technology that they grew up with, I, I experienced as well. There's that, th there's that bl black flag, Brigham Floral and Gift, the black flag with the blue stripe. Those really bother me. It's like they're trying to really change America, and and it could be a result of the the Black Lives Matter movement. I, I suspect it is trying to trying to make the flag difference. And sure, they they ban they ban the the Confederate flag, but now now a new flag is flying. And why not? You know, it's art. You gotta res respect art, okay? For people to be all offended about the Confederate flag and and to ban that just just brings out new new issues that are unfamiliar, like this blue line black flag. If you can't fly the Confederate flag, then fly that blue line flag. All right, I gotta take a right somewhere. I'm not. I'm not seeing any opportunities. 
Jeez, this is the longest block in the city. I should have taken a right well before this. Yeah, where that car is turning is where I can turn. Now, I wanted to turn well before that because I'll be going right by the library now. I don't want to do more driving than I have to. And it looks like it's a I could park all day, but you know, once again, I I could get the cops called on me. Oh my God, that's not even a. Oh, gee, that's not even a intersection. I guess I could have turned in there. I'll, I'll turn here. This isn't even an intersection. This is the longest block in the city. Longest block in the city. Jeez, that's a long one. I had I had no idea. It's just like all there's a lot of driveways you could turn into. Man, that's amazing. That's what you get for downtown. They're trying to make things. It's a screwy appearance, anyway. It's overall, it looks screwy. Because <clears throat> the library is like behind a building. This library is, is not, not really that visible from the main street. Alright, so there's no time limit to park on this street. So I just stay here all day, not drive, look around, whatever. And I'm in front of the library, so I might have internet access. I really want to be... Okay, I bet my bumper's hugging that. No? <clears throat> okay, my confidence is pretty low about this food bank. Neighbors helping neighbors. Uh, homeless are not included in that. Generally in Utah, so far as what I've experienced. I don't know if I entered there. really no clear place that you enter. Oh. Can I? Oh. Oh, that's great. They actually did allow me to have food. Got a whole bag. Um, I, I definitely cho I definitely didn't get any sugar and I still got a good weight to the, the bag. So this this will help for today. Okay, just gonna go through what I got for food bank stuff. All right, I did chose this, but it is low on fiber, which is unfortunate. But uh, I'll accept it. Maybe I'll try to eat it with something that has more fiber. Delicious mussels. It's good for the good for virulity. I'm gonna eat these. Okay, all of this, even the sauce, because she had extra chopped salad kit, and it's a kit, so there's probably sauce in this too. Then sunflower crunch with bacon, cabbage. I want to mix it all together and have a big lunch with just leaves. I could use more leaves, could use more strawberries, and I hope these are, you know, I'm a, I go to the food banks because I expect things to be rotten and expired, okay? I'm willing to take those rotten expired foods uh, for the most part, and as you can see, <laughs> it will be expiring. Albacore. Natural peanut butter gives me heartburn. Has no sugar added. I was not about to accept sugar. Um, but I get heartburn from it. Alright, these. I got a couple of boxes of these. I'm stocking up on this, this, uh, this cereal. And that's, that's pretty much it. And I was also given this. 
resource guide. I thought today was was Thursday, but it's Friday. Where'd the time go? There was a free meal on Thursday night, which I missed. So, hmm, it's got a scent to this paper. But, oh, uh, oh, this is, yeah, there's more information on this other side, too. Mental health. <laughs> We have a mental health crisis, and I blame sugar. It's absolutely sugar extracts. Drugs throw people's minds off. You know, if you get off that sugar extract binge, you'll definitely improve your life. Next to the library.